Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review from Tottenham Hotspur 1, Crystal Palace nil. That is our third win in a row, our third clean sheet in a row. And I have to say, it was a really tight game. I thought it would be, but we were magnificent today. Yes, they hit the post twice, and I'm sure Crystal Palace fans will be banging on about that the whole time. But the reality is, we were in control of the game for the majority of it. There were a couple of little 10 minute periods where they did okay, but I thought we had fantastic performances all through the pitch, all across the pitch. Hugo Lloris made a couple of world-class saves, really, really um, controlled his box brilliantly, corners, catching corners, and just controlling everything incredibly well. Then Super Yan and Toby at the back were good. Ben Davis was fine. Carl Walker did some good things. Eric Dyer in front of the back four. In terms of the protection he gave the back four, Incredible. He is fast becoming the most important player we've got at the club, I think, in terms of keeping clean sheets and giving ourselves a chance to win games. Deli Ali was busy alongside him. He wasn't quite getting as, as far forward as he was when he was playing in the pocket. Of course he wasn't. But he was energetic and brilliant on the ball. He did really well. Then in, t in terms of the players behind Harry Kane, Hung Min Son. Oh, not only did he score the goal, but he just offers us little bits of space. He gets into little bits of space between the lines and people find him and he scares defenders. He runs very directly and on the counter-attack. A few times we got on the counter-attack, he ran straight, straight down the middle. He didn't try and go sideways and look for another option. He won yellow cards just from going straight down the middle and it was a great finish, great performance. Uh, as well as him, Ericsson came on, he did well. NASA Chadley had a bit of a quiet one and Harry Kane worked his nuts off. People are going to say, oh, he hasn't scored, he hasn't scored, but I'll tell you what, he can play 38 Premier League games and not score as far as I'm concerned if he puts in that work rate, holds the ball up and does everything that Emmanuel Adebayor never did. And unfortunately, Bobby Soldado never really gave us those options. So I'm so pleased with the way Harry Kane's playing. He will score. I have no doubt about that. Crystal Palace will go to better teams than us and beat them like they did at Chelsea. So that is a fantastic result today. 1-0 against them. They may find themselves a little bit unlucky, but it doesn't matter. We won the game. Three points going to the top half of the table. And now we've got Arsenal on Wednesday and City on Sunday to look forward to. I think we can turn the Gooners over. And I think we can give City a really good scare next week as well. Let us know if you agree with what I had to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.